Sunday morning, I come out of the house all oh, about 7.30 to feed the cats. And she had one. I just happened to notice her out there in the lot. She had one laying on the ground, this biggest one here. And uh, I went out there, and she just had another one as I went out. And I thought this first one was, was dead. It was laying there in the mud, just covered, wet. And I just kind of lifted its leg to see <laughs> if it really was dead or or how long it had been dead and it let out a little bath, moo, and carried it to the barn in a hurry and then carried the other one in the barn and got some straw down and bedded. Then I went in the house and got a hair dryer because I had to get it dry. I knew it. The other one seemed all right. And, uh, oh, I worked on it. About an hour I was sitting on a bucket, maybe a hair less, and she laid down. I thought she was just trying to clean or after birth, after they get done. I seen her groan and I thought she was acting a little strange, different, but then she pushed out another one, third one. This one here, I had another older cow that had a calf last fall, late, and I'm real tame, she's an older cow. So I'm putting this one on that, that old cow weaning that other calf, because I don't think she can feed three. I know she can't. Them two will do better, and so will this one. But I put them together for a little while every day. People want to come look at them. <laughs> I guess just another calf, but kind of special. So I called the vet. I didn't know if there was much to be done. And I called him and told the situation that I had triplets, and I really, really wanted to save them. You know, just because it ain't going to happen again. <laughs> and uh, he come down and tubed it, put a quart of hot colostrum, we put the tube down its throat and into its stomach. And within 10 minutes, the calf was up. Just It was just day and night different. And they've pretty well taken off. <laughs>